Hey guys, this is Kair. I'm second year mechanical engineering student at York University. Today we are going through engineering concepts of sound recording and reproducts. Sound recording and reproductions are mechanical and electrical writing and recreation of sound waves, like singing, spoken voice, sound effects, or instrumental music. The sound recording and reproduction are required for any form of media transfer from music, movies, to making a phone call. The two major categories of sound recording technology are digital recording and analog recording. The audio analog recording is attained by large diagram that converts the sound into mechanical motion of stylus that engraves the signal into soft material like tin foil of wax. Then the recorded signal is transformed into a harder material and records are produced that can be used for sound reproduction using a phonograph or a gramophone. In a magnetic tape recording, sound signal vibrate and microphone diaphragm are charged into electrical current, which is then converted into a magnetic field by an electromagnet, which builds a representation of sound as a magnetized field on a plastic tape. The analog recreation is the converse process with a large loud speaker diaphragm triggering the vibration to the atmospheric pressure to form an audio so sound signal, but it had limitations and poor quality. In 1983, digital recording was invented and that revo revolutionized the industry. At present, we still use digital recording that generally contains microphone preamplifier analog to digital converter and it is stored and transferred by diversity of media such as flash drive sd card internet smartphones or computers most widely used microphones is a moving coil type microphone which uses electromagnetic induction to convert the sound wave into electric signal it has a tiny coil of thin wire suspended within a magnetic field of permanent, ma permanent magnet a sound wave hits the flexible diaphragm. The diaphragm moves back and forth in response to the sound pressure acting upon it, causing the attached coil of wire to move within a magnetic field of magnet. The movement of the coil within the magnetic field causes the voltage to be induced in a loop as defined by Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. The resultant output voltage signal from the coil is proportional to the pressure of sound wave acting upon diaphragm. So the louder or stronger the sound wave, the larger output signal is. Making this type of microphone design pressure sensitive. Because the coil is low impedance inductor, the output voltage signal is so also small. So some form of preamplification of signal is required. To translate an electric signal into audible sound, a loudspeaker converts a digital signal into physical motion of a cone diaphragm that generates the sound wave. Inside a speaker, an electromagnet is placed in front of permanent magnet. The permanent magnet is fixed firmly into position where the electromagnet is mobile. As the pulses of electricity passes through coil of electromagnet, the direction of its magnetic field is rapidly changed and it is attracted and repelled from the permanent magnet vibrating back and forth. The electromagnet is attached to a cone made of flexible material such as paper or a plastic, which amplifies these vibrations, pumping sound waves into surrounding air. This sound waves then reaches to our ears as a music, a voice, or an instrumental tones. As loudspeaker resembles the construction of a microphone, it is also possible to use an actual loudspeaker as a microphone. Very small number of intercoms and walkie-talkies utilize a speaker as a microphone to save cost and space. Thank you.